shadow creature, what crossed our path that night. Please be kind here. I don't even like to tell this story because I feel like no one will believe me. But seeing others share their experiences here made me finally think maybe it's time I tell mine. Side note. My friends' names have been changed for this story as they are still together and very reluctant to ever bring this up. This must have been around 2007. One night, two friends and I were out ghost hunting in a very remote little town in Western NY. My friend Jane wanted a couple more pictures in the old cemetery, so her boyfriend and I waited in my SUV while she did her thing. It must have been around midnight and we were parked on a back road, but there were some street lights up ahead. Jane was behind us and off to the right, but we could still see her in her flashlight. John and I happened to be looking up the road when, about 50, 65 yards ahead, out from under the street light on the left-hand side, appeared a black figure in a wide brim height. He just appeared. It was blacker than black, more like a void. 100% it was not a person. This being had absolutely no features. But we could make out the hat from the profile. It was a flat top hat with a wide brim around it. On my mother's grave, it took maybe 30 steps before it morphed, only way I can describe it, into a black cat before it reached the street light on the opposite side of the road and disappeared into a field. Again, you could tell it was the shape of a cat, but it was just a black void. John and I stared at each other for about two minutes before we could even speak. When the time came, all he could say was, you saw that too, didn't you? We continued to sit there in absolute awe and sheer terror. Jane came back not long after, and I couldn't even move to unlock the doors. I was able to move my hand just enough to hit the unlock button and let her back in. She jokingly said, you both look like you saw the devil himself. John was a huge guy, very tall, muscular and intimidating. I looked back over and he was shaking and in tears. All he could say was cat. I tried to explain to Jane what had happened, but I struggled to even talk. It was about a 35 minute drive back home and I can remember Jane saying things like, this isn't funny anymore. You guys are scaring me. John insisted we take him to his church, where we both said a prayer to Mother Mary at the outdoor statue. While he continued to pray, I tried to explain to Jane what we had seen. I remember telling her and thinking how crazy I sounded. To this day, it still gives me a chill to my core. Whatever it was, was not of this earth is all I know. A part of me wants answers so badly, but then I keep thinking maybe I'm better off not knowing exactly what it was. Jane and I lost touch over the years, but did reconnect eventually. We talked about that night, as it was always the elephant in the room. She told me that following that incident, all of the crosses in her mum's house would randomly turn upside down for a couple weeks after this happened to us. It only stopped when Jane's mum went around the house very deep in prayer and blessed it. Jane and John lived with her at the time. Did something follow them home? I've never seen anything like that again, and I pray I never will. Thanks for letting me share here.